Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the fourth video in the playlist. We're looking at five quite difficult GCSE questions. You can download the worksheet from 3 Minute Maths, or please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, and then compare your solutions. In the previous uh, video, we completed through to question number three. In this one, we're going to start from question number four. Okay, so here we are on question number four. This is a probability equations type question. Uh, please do have a look at this particular question. Stop the video and have a go. Um, it says there's only green pens and blue pens in the box. There's three more blue pens than green pens. Okay, so I think to begin with, what I would do is I would say, well, actually, if there's green pens equals X, then therefore blue, if there's three more blue pens than green pens in the box, that must be X plus three. And also the total amount of pens in the box must be the value of the green, the value of the blue plus three. So therefore that's going to be two X plus three. And what it allows us then to do is to draw a probability diagram showing what's going on with this particular uh, probability. So I know we need to work out, um, I'm going to take at random two pens from the box and I'm going to show the probability of two pens are the same colour as that. But before we do that, let's have a go at just actually writing out a diagram. So therefore we've got green and we've got blue. And what we've said is that the number of green pens is x out of 2x plus 3. And the number of blue pens is going to be x plus 3 also out of 2x plus 3. OK, what happens with the second pick? Well, in the second pick, we've also got green and blue. But in this particular case now, because we've got one pen missing, it's now going to be 2x plus 2 as a denominator. OK, so let's what look at what happens if green is taken the first time round. Well, it means then that green would be one less, so there's going to be x minus one. However, there will be the same number of blue pens in the box, but because we're relating it to x, then it's effectively going to be, and I'll just put this in brackets, x minus one plus three. OK, because there's three more uh, blue pens than green pens, but we've actually taken away one of the green pens. So therefore, that's going to be x plus two. OK, so just a little bit of a tricky one there. OK, so I'm going to draw my second uh, probability if they took a blue pen the first time round. And now again, it's going to be 2x plus 2 and it's going to be 2x plus 2 as denominators. Um, if I took a blue pen the first time round, then there's still going to be the same number of green pens. That's perfectly fine. However, there's going to be one less blue pen. So therefore, it's going to be x plus 2. So what am I interested? in? Well, I'm looking at pens of the same colour. So therefore, I'm interested in green, green, and I'm interested in blue, blue. OK, how do we work that out? Well, green, green, we're going to multiply across the branches. So effectively, what I'm going to get is x times x minus 1, all divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2. OK, now it doesn't look particularly great, but I'm going to multiply it all out and I've got x squared minus x all divided by 4x squared plus 10x and that's plus 6. So not a particularly great one to start off with, but hopefully it'll work out for us. What happens with blue, blue? Well, with blue, blue, I'm going to have, again, I'm going to multiply across the branches. So I'm going to have x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. And again, that's all divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2. And when I uh, multiply all of that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6. And again, all divided by the same denominator, which is 4x squared plus 10x 
plus 6. OK, now what happens is, is that if I'm working out probability, I've got to add these two together. OK, so let's do that. Now, um, I'm going to be swapping around on the screen a little bit, but hopefully if you stop and have a go at this, then effectively what I'm going to do is I've got x squared plus Another x squared is going to be 2x squared. I've got minus x plus 5x. Well, that's going to be plus 4x. And then I've got 6 at the end here. OK, so I'm just going to write that out at the bottom of the screen here. It's going to give me 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. And that's all divided by the same denominator, which is going to be 4x squared plus 10x plus 6, and that all equals 27 over 55, which is the probability that we're told for um, picking two pens of the same colour. OK, so the easiest way to deal with this is to cross multiply. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x. Now if I multiply all of the uh, numerator, 2x squared plus 4x plus 6, by 55, I actually get uh, and the numbers are quite big at the moment, but they do settle down. 10x squared plus 220x plus 330. And that's going to be equal to multiplied the uh, denominator by 27. That's going to give me 108 x squared plus 270x plus 162. Not particularly great, but it does actually work out that if we make this all equal to zero and we bring everything over to the left hand side, what we end up with is 2x squared minus 50x plus 168 equals zero. Now what I can do is divide everything through by two. So what I actually get then is going to be x squared minus 25x plus 84 equals zero. And then really it's just a case of factorizing for uh, that particular quadratic. Uh, so two numbers that multiply together to make positive 84 and add together to get minus 25 are going to be x minus 21 multiplied by x minus 4 equals zero. So therefore I've got two values of x. I've either got x equals 21 or x equals 4. OK, now if we go back to the original question, it says there are more than 12 pens in the box, right in the middle there, more than 12 pens in the box. Therefore, the value of green pens, which if you remember was the value of x, is more than 12. So therefore, there must be 21. So green pens equals 21. And that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, so I'll just give you the opportunity to go back and have a little bit of a snapshot there. I hope that's been useful for you, a bit of work on this particular video. Please do let me know in the comments how you got on, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.